My first off-road vehicle was a mo uh, motorcycle, and I got that when I was 14 years old. And then when I turned 16, you know, your body changes a little bit, and I discovered uh, sleeping bags, ice chests, and girls, and I couldn't carry all that stuff on my motorcycle, so I decided I better get something I can carry it in, and uh, obviously that was the perfect little Jeep that uh, I bought from this a little old lady from Pasadena owned it, and I fell for it 100%, and I soon became a Jeep mechanic because it was a wore out Jeep. I just said, this is Rod Hall, 100%. I like this. I'm out by myself. I get to make all my own decisions. I, I was hooked right then. Well, it was a great time in my career because that was the first factory ride I had. Ford had got into the Bronco game and they got a lot of seconds because my little Jeep kept beating them. This drop says, I know how to take care of that rod. I'm going to build you a Bronco. And you don't have to do anything but get in and drive and you can have whatever you win in the way of money. And I said, this is me. It was just the heartbeat of my life for a long time. I'd get in that thing and fire it up and that would be my car. Loved it. I kind of like to think that my marriage to Donna is about the same as uh, B.F. Goodrich. And I used to say, yes, if my marriage to my wife was as good as my marriage to B.F. Goodrich, I would have no complaints. You know, I won the Ba 1000 overall in 1969 in a little Bronco and beat the motorcycles by about 10 minutes. That's when I used to pole vault out of bed. I don't do that anymore either, but... And I liked that because I didn't feel like I was ever a you know, Walker Evans or an Ivan Stewart because those guys were fast. I think the production cars is what my talent was and I just stayed with it. I had opportunities to go drive modified cars, but I, I needed to make a living too. Well, I uh, joined Hummer in 1992, and Bill Thompson, when I'm at the starting line in 1993 for the uh, Baja 1000, Bill comes up and says, well, Rod, I wish you luck because if you don't win, we're both gonna be looking for a job. Yeah, when we went into uh, Matomi Wash, I was 17 minutes back of the lead Fords. But, you know, that Matomi wash is a really tough thing, and I was the first one to come out with my H1 Hummer. And then we never looked back. And we won it, so that was good. And so that launched my career with Bill Thompson and A.M. Gunnell. I've never been the big guy, you know, in, in racing. There's always been somebody that gets more limelight than I do, but I don't chase it anyway, because I... See, I think fame is a sin, because you have a, a moment, and then you love it, and then you got to have another fix within a couple of weeks. Hell, I don't need a fix, because I've never been really famous, so I like that. And I've kept it that way on purpose, I think. I like to think that. Maybe it's because I'm just not famous. And that's all right.